hindi tayo ngayon to solve EMTA problems, yung focus ng ating EMTA pro problem today ay yung pag-solve ng common problems on equation of a line. So, sa ating first example, we have find the equation of the line in the form ax plus by is equal to c of the line through the point 2,6 parallel to the line x minus 2y plus 8 is equal to 0. So, meron tayo rito ngayon, sabi sa problem natin, kailangan maintindihan natin, naghahanap tayo ng line na parallel sa equation x minus 2y plus 8 is equal to 0, pero yung line na yun, at the same time, ay dumadaan sa point na 2,6. Um, since ito ay empty problem is, at kailangan yun ng mas mabilis na oras, pero at the same time, dapat accurate ang sagot, uh, kailangan gumamit tayo ng shortcut or mas maganda kung gumamit tayo ng shortcut. Sa ating, form, sa ating equation, we have x minus 2y is equal to 8 is equal to 0. Sabi, parallel sa line. Meaning, ito yung shortcut natin. Ang ginagawa ko dito to solve this problem ay kinokopya ko lang itong mismo ano, equation and then, ang gagamitin ko ay ito. Kopyain ko lang x minus 2y. Ito na mismo yung terms na mayroong variables para sa hinahanap natin equation. At par para mahanap naman natin yung mismong constant ng equation na nawawala, ay kopya nyo rin to. So, we have x minus 2y. Again, ang purpose nito ay para mahanap natin yung constant. So, sir, paano ba natin mahanap yung constant? We have x minus 2y. Remember, yung point na meron tayo, o yung line na meron tayo, ay dumadaan sa point na 2, 6. Meaning, ito yung x mo, ito yung y mo. Ang gagawin mo lang is you need to substitute the value of x here and you need to substitute the value of y here. So, ang sunod natin ngayon is we have x minus 2y is equal to 2 minus 2 times 6. Ang ginawa ko, pinalitan ko ito ng 2, bilang, yung x natin bilang 2, yung y natin bilang 6, and then you need to simplify it. So, you have x minus 2y is equal to 2 minus 12. And then, simplifying the right side of the equation, we have x minus 2y is equal to negative 10. Ito na ngayon yung nawawala natin equation or yung sagot sa problem natin. So again, x minus 2y is equal to negative 10. Review lang natin ha. Una, copyin yung given equation. Since sila ay parallel, same kanilang slope. So ibig sabihin, copyin lang tong kanilang um, terms na mayroong variables and then, para mahanap yung constant sa kabila, copy nyo lang po ito sa kabila, so you have your x minus 2y is equal to x minus 2y and then, para magkaroon tayo ng value x and y, gamitin natin yung point kung saan dumadaan yung line na hinahanap natin, so we have 2 comma 6, and then simplifying it you will have x minus 2y is equal to negative 10 so, yun lang naman po maraming salamat Okay, the next problem natin ngayon is all about finding the equation of the line. But this time, this one is quite different. Kanina, sa nauna natin example, yung equation natin is parallel to the missing equation. For this time, sabi dito, find the equation of the straight line passing through the point 1, 2 and its end is perpendicular to another given line whose equation is 2x minus 3y plus 5 is equal to 0. So, basically, kung kayo yung mag-solve nyo yan, so normally, ang gagawin nyo po is, you need to find the, the slope of this equation. At since they are perpendicular, alam naman natin na kung ang dalawang line ay perpendicular, meaning, ang slope nila ay negative reciprocal of each other. Pero since ito ay m top question na pwede nyo bilisan yung inyong solution you can solve this problem simply by using a shortcut so originally we have 2x minus 3y plus 5 is equal to 0 ang shortcut dito kapag ang dalawang line ay perpendicular ay kunin mo ito bilang pattern so you have 2x minus 3y plus 5 is equal to 0 Ang ginagawa ko rito, itong term na merong x at term na merong y ay ginagamit ko. Pero, hindi yan ang kinokopya ko. Ang gagawin ko ngayon ay i-interchange ko yung 
coefficient na 2 sa 3. So dito sa original equation natin, ang 2 natin ay nasa x variable, yung 3 natin ay nasa y variable. So ngayon, ang gagawin natin, yung 3 ngayon ay mapupunta sa x variable, magiging 3x. And then, yung 2 naman natin ay mapupunta sa y variables y variable. So we have 2y. At the same time, yung sign sa gitna is babaguhin natin bilang plus. So again, paano nakuha itong 3x plus 2y? Yung dalawang coefficients natin, 2 and 3, ay nag-interchange. Then after that, yung sign sa gitna o yung operation sa gitna is babaguhin natin yung sign. At para naman sa constant, ang gagawin nyo lang is you need to equate it and copy your 3x plus 2y. Ang purpose naman ng part na to ay para mahanap yung constant of the equation. Since yung equation natin ay dumadaan sa 1 comma 2, so your 1 comma 2 will serve as the value of x and the value of y. At ipapalit natin dito. So the next step is, you have 3x plus 2y is equal to 3 times 1 as the value of your x plus 2 times 2 as the value of your y. Then simplifying this equation, you have 3x plus 2y is equal to 3 plus 4. And then this one, we have 3x plus 2y is equal to 7. So ang mangyayari ngayon, Pwede natin itong bilang, bilang maging sagot natin or equation natin na 3x plus 2y is equal to 7. Pero kung mapansin nyo po, yung isang equation na given ay naka-general form. Meaning, you can also translate this equation in general, in general form. So, ang general form nito ay 3x plus 2y minus 7 is equal to 0. Ito na ngayon yung equation na perpendicular sa 2x minus 3y plus 5 is equal to 0 at dumadaan sa point na may coordinates na 1 comma 2. So, ganun lang kasimple. Ulitin lang natin. Mag-interchange siyang coefficients. Pabaguhin yung sign sa gitna. At, kukopyahin ito sa kabila para mahanap yung constant. And then, gagamitin yung point kung saan dumaan yung line na hinahanap para mahanap si constant. And then, simplify your equation you have 3x plus 2y minus 7 is equal to 0. Maraming salamat.